Hello little minions, today we are coming to you with Huckleberry Finn, or rather, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. This is the classic starts truncated version. Now I'm just going to read you, just hopping right in randomly to chapter 5, A Mysterious Campfire, because I wanted to give you guys kind of a brief example of how this sounds, to see if the words are too big, if it goes too fast, too slow, if it would work for your kids. Personally, for my kids, ages 6 and 8, they love it. So let's hop right into this. A Mysterious Campfire. The next morning, I was lazy and didn't want to get up to cook breakfast. I was dozing off again when I heard a deep boom coming up the river. I looked through a hole in the leaves and saw a lot of smoke on the water. It was a long way up near the ferry landing. And there was the ferry boat, full of people. I knew what was going on now. Boom! I saw the white smoke come out of the ferry boat's side. They were firing a cannon over the water trying to make my body float to the top. The ferry boat was floating with the current, and soon I could see who was aboard. Pap, Judge Thatcher, Joe Harper, Tom Sawyer, his old Aunt Polly, Sid, and plenty more were there. Everybody was talking about the murder. Soon they floated past, went out of sight around the island. I could hear the booming now and then further and further off. After about an hour, I didn't hear it anymore. I felt bad about lying to them like this, but I didn't know what else to do. I didn't want my pap to find me, and I didn't want to go back to my old life with the widow. I knew I was all right now. Nobody else would come looking for me. I got my things from the canoe and set up a nice camp in the thick woods. I made a tent out of my blankets and put my things under so rain couldn't get at them. I also caught a catfish. Towards sundown, I started my campfire and had a supper. When it got dark, I sat by the fire, feeling satisfied. But by and by, it also got sort of lonesome. I sat on the bank, listened to the water swishing along, counting the stars and drift logs. Then I went to bed. There's no easier way to feel better when you're lonesome. You get over it soon. Isn't that great? Oh, man, I just love his storytelling. Even when they take his words and they kind of dumb them down, so to speak, to make them more palatable for, for little kids, it's still a classic story with so many morals and uh, timeless anecdotes in them. So definitely, definitely get this for your kids if they are readers. And if they're not readers, they will soon be with Mark Twain. Uh, weaving his his yarns of the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. So that's it. My name is Bo Shevisu. Hope this helps.